I should introduce myself. Many call me the father of surgery, but that is an unwieldy title, I admit. Please, just call me Al Zahrawi. I was born in the 10th century. I am a surgeon, as well as an inventor of useful medical instruments. But you are thinking that medical treatment back in my time must be very different to that of yours today. So you'll be surprised to hear that there are more similarities than you might think. For example, many of your surgeons still stitch internal wounds with catgut, as I did over a thousand years ago. I even designed a scalpel for removing infected tonsils, all familiar and virtually unchanged from my original designs. In fact, my medical text, Al-Tazrif, shaped both Muslim and European medical practice right up to the Renaissance. Quite remarkable, yes? Medical knowledge was highly prized in the Muslim world, and it was not long before hospitals became a major feature of our towns and cities. Over time, they became great centers of learning and repositories of medical research. And best of all, we provided free treatment for all. We even established pharmacies in our markets so that medicine could be easily obtained by all our citizens. We developed new treatments in many different areas, making advances in eye surgery, bone setting, and teeth correction. We studied the human body and built on the teachings handed down to us by the Greeks and the Romans. Great men like Ibn Nafis used this knowledge to explore how your heart works as early as the 1200s. A useful thing to know, I think you'll agree. So, you see, despite all your modern day high tech advances, even the doctors of your day owe a great debt to the past. <laughs>